so in this course we start with the basics of the in the electronics we start with the uh, linear equation over here so what is linear equation is the is the one that plots the straight line between the variables so let's say we have this axis y we have axis x and then we have a straight line plot can be described by this uh, linear equation and it usually has the form of y equal to mx plus b so y is uh, called as dependent variable x here is independent variable m is called the slope of this line over here and b is called as y axis intercept so so this line uh, no matter where it is crossing uh, the y axis so that is defined by uh, b right over here so if the plot of this uh, equation passes through the origin right over here not like this but let's say we have this one and it passes through the origin so which is zero so we say that in that case uh, we can write b is equal to zero. so b is equal to zero in that case so in that uh, case we will write y equal to mx so this is basically a linear form of the equation okay and if we compare with the register ohm's law so we have this uh, expression i is equal to v over r so this is a typical ohm's law and where i is the current over here v is the voltage and r is the resistor okay so if we compare these two equation let's say this is equation one and this is equation two here y is equal to y is uh, analogous to i and uh, slope is given by one by r and x is v so what ohm's law states uh, states is that the increment in the current is proportional to the applied voltage okay uh, so we also can say uh, write this equation i is equal to conductance g times v v okay so uh, g is the reciprocal of the resistance is called as conductance okay and r is your resistance okay so if we see that so what this equation states uh, your current is proportional to the applied voltage and this uh, proportionality constant is given by uh, the conductance uh, which is the reciprocal of the resistance so what we can say that in the electronic devices we have this uh, linear device uh, we'll see that what those devices are uh, we can also say that uh, a component electronic component is linear so So if we have, if we can describe the characteristics of a linear device or a linear component by means of this equation, which represents the relationship between voltage and current, okay? So we can say that that uh, that component has a linear behavior, okay? Uh, so in that case, uh, we will write the expressions over here distance from this plot let's say we have this plot over here so that's defines uh, that explains the behavior of the resistor let's say there is a current 
and there is this voltage okay and we have these points over here in 6 and we similarly we have these points over here 6 and uh, the slope of this line let's say goes like this we have this characteristics about uh, the resistance 1 R1 and there is this another characteristics of this resistance R2 okay so uh, so how do we uh, calculate the resistance from this plot so resistance uh, is uh, for we have to measure the slope of this line actually so slope of this line is given by 1 over R so let's say we are interested in measuring the resistance so to measure the resistance we have to calculate or measure the slope of this line so how do we do that for instance we have to measure the slope of this line at this point let's say we have like okay so what we do that uh, slope of this line would be 1 over r so that is given by i over v change in current due to change in voltage okay so <coughs> we'll write right like this so this slope will be given by change in current divided by change in voltage so what it says is that there will be a <coughs> change in current due to applied change in voltages so from this plot we see that the change in current is about 3.5 right over these coordinates so this is 3.5 and 2 so 3.5 corresponds to y axis coordinate and 2 corresponds to x axis coordinate so this is x axis that's your y axis so 3.5 minus 0 milli ampere divided by uh, 2 minus 0 volts over here so this is basically uh, 1.75 millisecond Siemens okay so 1 over G as we know that uh, right over here is basically a conductance so and therefore the resistance would be uh, reciprocal of this conductance which is 1.75 milliseconds so that value can become uh, calculated over here and that would be in the kilo ohm so that will be the value of uh, the resistance so how we calculate uh, this resistance from this plot we have to determine the slope of this line and there how uh, we can calculate the resistance so for in the case of register r1 so let's say we have to calculate uh, the slope of this uh, we have to measure calculate the resistance from this plot at this point over here so again we do that the coordinates are 6 6 okay so here we'll again write the same equation which is to measure the slope of this line and that will be given by change in current due to the applied change in voltage so this would be written as 6 minus 0 milliamp divided by 6 minus 0 uh, volts okay so that's basically 1 milli siemens so unit of uh, conductance is siemens and therefore the resistance would be 1 over 1 milli siemens which is 1 kilo ohm okay so that's how we can calculate uh, the resistance uh, from the plot so that describes the linear uh, behavior of a component in this case it's a resistor all right
Uh, we talked about the DC resistance. Okay, so in the in the previous slide, what about the AC resistance? Okay. So this is also called as a small signal resistance. are also called as dynamic resistance so often in electronic devices we have uh, several devices for example as a pn junction diode okay and then we have this uh, let's say transistor you are going to see that in the subsequent classes so these uh, devices uh, at some point in time of their operation go uh, non-linear it means they behave non-linear okay unlike what we saw previously so in that case uh, we have to define another term which is AC resistance or it's called as small signal resistance or it's called dynamic resistance of a circuit or of a, of a device okay so how do we define that so again uh, we will draw the characteristics of a diode let's say this is the characteristics of a diode and we have to see the behavior of a diode let's say we have a I uh, milliampere over here and the voltage it's in the volts okay x this is y <coughs> define that we can always write let's say we have this 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 and so on and then we have this current let's say 1 2 3 8 and what is the characteristics of a diode if we see that the characteristics of a diode is typically like this it's it's, it's like let's say it's a germanium diode so cutting voltage we'll see that later in the and it has this behavior okay so if we have to measure the slope of this line at some particular point so let's say we have this we are interested in this point over here so we have to measure the slope with the we have to draw the tangential right like this and then that's how we will measure the slope over here for instance at these two points okay so what we see that at this point we have this y coordinate about 3.2 okay and uh, at this point at this point we have like another coordinate it's about 1.5 okay so this is like 1.5 over here and how about the x coordinate we have this like at this point we have this 0 0.55 okay and at this point at this point we have this coordinate right over here is about 0 0.7 okay so that's the current that's the voltage that's the current that's the voltage so again how do we define these uh, uh, how do we calculate the resistance that in this case is the dynamic resistance okay the change uh, in these uh, um, change in the current due to applied change in voltage uh, will define uh, will give the slope of this line okay so again the slope is like let's say r a c 
okay where ac is the ac resistance as we define and that will be given by change in the dependent variable which is the current over here divided by change in the independent worry uh, due to the change in independent variable so that is del i over del v so in that in that case uh, we see that it could be written as 3.2 minus 1.5 milliamp okay and would be divided by 0.7 minus 0.55 volts so it would be 3.2 so that's the dynamic conductance we say that or small signal uh, conductance okay so and this uh, resistance would be uh, the reciprocal of this value which is really Siemens all right so this is how we define the uh, AC resistance of a component so again what we do is that this is the typical IV characteristics of a, a non-linear uh, uh, component or non-linear device which is the electronic diode in this case and uh, we have to uh, compute or calculate the AC resistance from this curve so what we have done is that at some particular point we draw the tangent and uh, we take the two points right over here okay and there how we measure the slope of this line which is uh, given by 1 over RAC RAC is the AC resistance and which is then given by this expression we locate and we identify the coordinates in the on the y-axis for the currents and we identify the coordinates on the x-axis for the voltage and there how we get the value of dynamic conductance so dynamic conductance is 1 over RAC so this is small signal conductance okay and then we take the uh, reciprocal of that con value of conductance and this is the resistance uh, that comes out to be.